In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to write tests for the Spring Boot REST APIs using Spring Smoke MVC. This is the third part of the Spring Boot testing tutorial series, where in the first part, we saw how to write unit tests for the service layer of our Reddit clone application using JUnit 5 and Mockito. In the second part, we mainly concentrated on writing tests for the data access layer using Spring Test Framework's Data GPA test and by making use of test containers. If you're watching this tutorial for the first time, I'm going to take a full-fledged application developed using Spring Boot as an example for this tutorial series. If you want, you can also check out the complete tutorial to build this Reddit clone application in the description section. And don't forget to have a look at the written companion of this video in the first link in the description section. So without any delay, let's start the video. So if you check the architecture diagram of the Reddit clone application, we have covered the tests for the service layer and persistence layer in the previous videos. Now it's time to concentrate on the presentation layer. So to test the REST controllers which are inside this layer, Spring Test Framework provides us with an annotation called as Web MVC Test, which gives access to a specialized Spring context which contains all the beans required to test our web layer, in our case, the REST APIs. Let's take a look at this annotation in detail by creating our first test for the post controller class. And inside this class, we have the get all posts method with a get mapping, which is returning all the posts which are there inside the application. So if you go inside the get all posts method of the post service, you can see that we are just reading all the posts from the post repository, mapping it to the DTO. Now let's go ahead and write a test for this use case. I'm going to create a class called as post controller test. We're going to add an annotation called as web MVC test. And as we are writing this test for the post controller class, the class, we can provide the class name also to the annotation. And inside the class, we are going to first mock out the dependencies of this post controller class because we are not interested in testing the post service class. So we can mock out the interaction between post controller and post service. To mock the post service class, we don't need to mock each and every dependency of the post service like we did inside the post service test class. I will quickly open the test class. You can see here we are mocking all the dependencies of the post service one by one manually. Instead of that, we can make use of spring annotation called as mock bean, which will automatically inject the mock objects for the required dependencies for the post service class. After that, we are going to auto wire another class called as mock MVC which provides us a way to call our REST endpoints from our test, mainly provides us a servlet environment where we can make calls to the REST endpoints and it will return us a mock response. Now let's create our first test method, which will test whether the get endpoint will fetch all the posts or not. Inside this test, we are going to call the slash API slash post endpoint with HTTP get method. For that, I'm going to type in mock mvc.perform and inside the method, I'm going to type mock mvc request builder dot get and to this method, I'm going to pass in the URL of our endpoint. And so we are invoking the perform method from the mock MVC object and we are doing a get call by using this mock MVC request builder dot get method to the required endpoint. So when we do this endpoint call, we are expecting a status an HTTP status OK as a response. So which goes by the value 200. So this is a basic test we can write for our get endpoints. So let's try to execute this test and see what happens. So you can see that the test execution failed. The test is trying to start a spring context and it is not able to find a bean of type user details service. So in our test, we are trying to mock the post service calls and this class is using the auth service, um, auth service class as the dependency and the auth service is using the user detail service interface as the dependency. If you remember, we have mentioned that web MVC annotation, web MVC test annotation provides only the beans which are necessary for our web layer but the bean user detail service is part of the spring security module. So we have to manually mock this bean in our tests. Additionally, I'm going to also mock the JWT provider class, which is also part of the security layer. So now if I try to start the test, you can see that it will run successfully, but there is not much use trying to test the endpoint like this because an endpoint can return a response with two status 200. But what we are really interested to see is whether it responds with the data we expect or not. So for that, let's add some more logic to our tests. If you go back to the method get all posts inside the post controller, we are expecting a list of a list of post response object as a response from this endpoint. So let's go ahead and mock this method call to the post service and provide this list of post response objects as the response. So inside the test, I'm going to quickly create a couple of post response objects and I'm going to mock the behavior of the get all post method from post service by typing mockito.when 
post service dot get all posts then return and as we are expecting a list I can type arrays dot as list and pass in the two response objects here. So what's going to happen at the time of uh, running the test is whenever this post service dot get all post method is being executed Mokito will return this list as a response. So and here I'm going to add some more assertions to our test. The first assertion is that we expect the response as a JSON and after that we are doing an assertion that the size should be two because there are two objects inside the inside the uh, inside the response. And finally, we are going to make uh, an assertion of individual objects inside the list. So if you run the test, you can see that the tests are executing successfully and we are able to make the assertions on the response which is returned by the all posts endpoint. So, so I hope you have learned something about testing REST APIs using mock MVC and uh, web MVC test annotations by Spring. In the next video, we are going to see how to write integration tests for our Reddit clone application. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and share it with your colleagues. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting tutorials like this. I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding techies.